Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. Last time, Rayquaza quelled the fighting of Groudon and Kyogre in Sutopolis City. This time we're going to be taking on the final gym of the game. And I have... I have... Jamie in front because, as you can probably guess, this is not actually an ice type gym despite the ice puzzles. It is a water type gym. Basically the way this puzzle and this gym works is you want to walk over every single one of these spots once without walking over one of them twice and you want to end up at the end near the staircase. Now it's pretty easy to go through, honestly. I mean, I'm just kind of making this up as I go. It's really pretty easy. I'm pretty sure I didn't have any problems with it as a kid either. And that should do it pretty well. And with that, we've already gotten to the gym trainer. It's only, it hasn't even been a minute in. And here we have Juan of the Water Gym. However, before we fight him, I actually want to go down here and fight some of the gym trainers. Now I'm going to go ahead and knock out all of the ones on this floor. There's two floors below this and I'm going to fight all of the gym trainers down there on screen. So give me a second while I completely annihilate all these people. Alright, so I've already taken on everyone on this floor. And it really just took like four minutes. So I'm going to show you the true terrors that this gym has to offer with this double battle here. The sight of Juan conducting a battle. The very beauty of, it, beauty of it compelled me to become a trainer. I can battle with really rare Pokemon if you like. Sure, show us your super rare Pokemon. Actually, she's the one that actually throws out the rare Pokemon. So, Love Disc and Feebas. This is the challenge that this gym offers to you, and all of the gym trainers here are like around level 40, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, yeah. It's Feebas and Love Disc. I'm pretty sure we can take these guys out without any problem whatsoever. Jamie can use Fake Out on Feebas. Maybe this will knock it out. I mean, it came close. Water Pulse, how much damage is this gonna do? Beautiful! I'm pretty sure that was exactly one damage. I th there's a way that you can switch what it says. You can, there's a way that you can switch it to the numbers instead of the health bar right there, but I'm not sure how exactly you do it, and I accidentally turned the volume up. So yeah, maybe it's two buttons at the same time? I really don't know. L and R don't seem to do anything. Alright, so yeah, two Feebas. And I'm pretty sure the other trainer has two Love Discs. So yeah, true terrors we have on this team. Uh, you know what, actually, Gareth, you use Crunch on the Love Disc, and you use Giga Drain on the Feebas, so I can gain a back a bit health. Oh, they're gonna use Full Restore on a Love Disc. Fantastic, Flail at full HP. Pretty sure that was about three damage right there. Truly a team to be feared. Actually, that Love Disc didn't take too much damage from that. Anyway, this Feebas is going down. Should get a little bit of HP from this, not too much. Feebas is basically Magikarp, except it can learn TM moves, by the way. And it evolves oddly. It evolves by raising its beauty up to peak, which basically means give it a bunch of Pokeblocks that raise its beauty. And then level it up and it'll evolve into Milotic, which is basically one of the biggest threats in the entire game. Uh, Ice Beam, I really don't care. Sweet Kiss, oh god, what are we gonna do? What are we going to do? Gareth became confused. That's actually probably the most threatening thing this love disc can do to us, is confuse us. Hitting ourselves will do a lot more damage than it hitting us will. And we get the paralyzation. Have I mentioned that yet? Dragon Bell Breath can paralyze. Anyway, take down this love disc, and she'll be throwing out another one, I'm pretty sure. And Gareth grew to level 41. Not much farther until it evolves again. Ooh, it's trying to learn Screech. It's a good move, it, it lowers defense to half. But it's not too accurate, and the moves that I have right now are actually really good. It's smart. Badly startles those. Oh, it's basically Earthquake. When it comes to contests, at least. Except it's a different thing. Uh, yes. We are not going to be learning Screech. So, Love Disc. Gotta love Love Disc. Uh, we can take this thing out. Uh, just fly. I don't know, do something. Giga Drain. Go ahead and regain all of the life that you lost. Another Water Pulse! Oh, it's super effective! It doesn't help the fact that it's quadruple not effective. Oh, there Gareth goes. I have never used Fly in battle, have I? 
There's never really been a reason to. We haven't come across any grass types, have we? Anyway, that should gain us the rest of our life. Jamie is now back at full HP. However, he is missing some of his Giga Drains, so that's a problem. Yep, we defeated him. The hardest team ever. Ever. Oh, there now. Did you have a good look at my Pokemon? Yeah, she, have, she threw out... Whoa! 10,000? Dude! That is not needed. Anyway, these people should have some... Eh. I mean, they're not going to be Feebas, of course. Or Love Disc, God forbid. But they have a pretty good team. Meaning Love Disc, oh my god. <laughs> I didn't actually know she had a Love Disc, too. Ah, uh, that's disgusting. I'm pretty sure Earthquake can one-shot it. Oh, Flail? How much damage is it going to do? Five damage. Congratulations. You are a sweeper, Love Disc. I am afraid. Oh, it didn't... Why are we not one-shotting the Love Discs? Also, please don't hate yourself, Yareth. That would just be demeaning. At least they can't use Attract. I know these Love Discs have the move Attract on them. God dang it. Thankfully, Gareth's a girl, though, so that's not a problem. Oh, now Flail's actually going to hurt a bit. Oh no, please don't die to a Love Disc. That's not okay. That's not okay. No. No, I cannot live with that embarrassment. Nope. Ugh, God. <laughs> it has to be done. Goodbye. Goodbye. You know how much I bash Love Disc and then I end up losing to it. Beautiful. Come on out, Neo. Take this thing down. I can't live with this embarrassment. Oh, it's disgusting. Waterfall. We can show it in the... And now it's using Attract. Okay, well, you better get through it or else... I mean, how can you fall in love with that? At least Neo's gonna level up from this, though. And we get to show off Waterfall in battle. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I swear to God. I swear to God this love disc. Oh, my God! And, of course, it's going to get the sweet kiss off. Oh, this is actually going to be a bit of damage. Not really. And that's a pretty powerful flail with that, with the life attack. Three turns in a row. Three turns. Oh, no, this isn't good. Oh. Oh. Game, why are you doing this to me? Oh, we finally snapped out of everything, but we're still in love. Hit it. No. Please. Please. Oh my god, this love disc almost knocked out Neo. Oh god, I think I'm going to... Ugh. Oh, that's disgusting. Anyway, now that I've shown you the potential of all the trainers in this gym, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut out the rest of the fights. We're going to go ahead and fight Juan, so I'll see you then. Alright, we're back at Juan, and I say it's about time to fight him. Let me ask you, did you know? I should not be so coy. It was I who taught Wallace everything there is to know about Pokemon. Once I had given up my position as the gym leader. In my place, I had entrusted Wallace with this gym. However, a compelling reason arose for me to make a comeback. And that compelling reason is because Wallace has surpassed the master. You will see. But enough chatter. Let us begin our match, shall we? Please, you shall bear witness to our artistry. A grand illusion of water sculpted by Pokemon and myself. Alright, so all things considered, we're actually a little bit underleveled for this fight. All of our Pokemon are around level 41 except for Camerupt. Which is why I'll be throwing up out on this Love Disc because I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that he can take out. I mean, I don't even think he's going to outspeed. And if this Love Disc actually uses Water Pulse, that could be pretty bad. Can Matt survive the Water Pulse from a Love Disc? He can! Goodbye, oh no. Oh no, Love Disc are quickly becoming my least favorite Pokemon. Okay, we actually hit it, so that's probably going to take out this Love Disc. It better. Matt, you have failed me. Wait, it's using a Hyper... Okay. Well, as long as you use your Hyper Potions on Love Disc, I suppose it's okay. Okay, well, I guess we're going to use Takedown this time. It's not going to do as much damage, but whatever. Oh, jeez. Matt, you are a letdown. Water Pulse, goodbye, Matt. <laughs> you got brought down by a Love Disc. That just shows how useless Matt really is in, in the midst of all of these water types. Anyway, uh, Gareth, you can take this thing down, but you're not faster than it. I mean, I guess it's not that big of a deal if you take a Water Pulse from a Love Disc, but still. Alright, so Earthquake. 
Water Pulse, that shouldn't do much damage. Please do not confuse. Okay, thank you. So this Love Disc is going bye-bye. Thank God for that. We took down a Love Disc. We are the best there ever was. So, he's going to be sending out Kingdra. Kingdra only has one weakness, and that's Dragon-type. However, it has the move Ice Beam. And for that reason, I think the typing Dragon and Water is the best typing in the game. Defensively, at least. Even offensively, it covers pretty much everything. I'm actually not sure what I want to throw in on it. Hmm... I'm thinking Jamie. Jamie should be able to deal with this Kingdra. So this Kingdra knows Water Pulse and Ice Beam and two other moves I really don't care about. That's, those are its two attacking moves, and it shouldn't be able to do much to Jamie with them. It's pretty much the strongest member of this guy's team. We do have Ice Beam, so we will be able to do damage to it. We also have Giga Drain. I'm going to use Ice Beam to start out. Oh, it has Double Team! Yeah! That could be bad, so we might have to end up bringing in Hariyama to use Vital Throw to take this thing down. Ah, oh, see, look, it's pretty defensive, too. It has great stats. Well, not great, but it's pretty well-rounded all the way through. Oh my god, dude, how is this happening? There's no way we're getting out of this thing anytime soon. Uh, do we have anything to heal it? I mean, I'm pretty sure we have a full heal. Uh, hold on. Awakening. Do, 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 defrost. We want the Aspear Berry. I probably should have given it to someone to hold, because I should have figured that someone would be getting frozen throughout, the, with, throughout this battle. However, if we take out this Kingdra, we pretty much have this battle down. Giga Drain should gain us a decent amount of HP. Unless it critical hits, which... Oh! Oh, I am so sad right now. Jamie's uh, really important. I actually, I'm going to go ahead and heal him. That's not okay. We have hyper potions. We have to. Ugh, let's do it. Jamie is a big deal in this fight. Because he's our only grass type. And we still have um, the Thunderbolt from Absol, but that's not much, really. Giga Drain, come on, hit! Do something to this Kingdra. We need to hurt this Kingdra. And for some reason, it seems like Ice Beam's using, doing less and less damage every time. Oh, the crit! Oh, the crit, Jamie, you are a saint. You can knock it out with this Giga Drain. It knows rest, and it also has a chest, Chesto Berry, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Well, that's okay. K Jamie's gonna be getting a full heal off, well, nearly a full heal off of this. So it should be back to even ground, nearly. Jeez, this is a tough fight, though. Maybe I should have... I should have probably, uh, trained a bit more. And it's using double team again. Oh, God, this is horrible. This is horrible. There's a reason that double team was banned from competitive battle, you see. Oh, as long as we can do a decent amount of damage with these attacks, then we should be good. And we can hit it, for one. Because Ice Beam's doing gradual damage to us, especially since we're gaining life from all these Giga Drains. If it uses Rest again, I think I'm just going to bring in, like, a huge hitter. Oh, it does. It's using Rest again. So should we switch out to Hariyama? You never know how long it's going to be asleep. Yeah, we need to switch out to Hariyama, or else we're not going to be hitting. We need some huge attacks on this guy. So come on out, Oscar. You are one of our strongest Pokemon we have, and we need to do things. Hopefully, Kingdra gets the long sleep for ten turn or five turns. Uh, vital throw. So it's asleep for this turn. Also, Oscar. Ah, I really wish he had thick fat, because then, because then Ice Beam would do much to it. I don't know why he's using Ice Beam though. It has Water Pulse, and that would have Stab, and probably do more damage. However, Oscar should be able to bring down this Kingdra pretty easily thanks to Vital Throw. Unless it uses Rest again. Okay, it's going to keep using Rest. I'm pretty sure Rest only has 5 PP. I mean, if fighting this Kingdra gets a bit too long, then I might cut some out, but other than that, Vital Throws will be hitting every single time. There's a reason we kept Vital Throw. There is a reason. And here it is. Please stay asleep. 
I swear to God, if it wakes up on the next turn, if it wakes up on the next turn and uses rest, I'm not going to be happy. Oh my God, I'm cutting this out. I've run out of vital throws. Brick Brick can probably knock this Kingdra out. I, I'm willing to bet. Please, please kill the Kingdra. Please? Oscar, you are amazing. I love you. So we finally brought down the Kingdra. The rest of its Pokemon shouldn't be too much of a problem. Ah, uh, Jamie's still alive, so we can still use him for his Giga Drain on this Wishcash. Wishcash, we haven't seen it before, is a water and ground type Pokemon. Same as, um, same as Swampert, so it should be going down easily to a Giga Drain. We only have two Giga Drains left. I can't believe we used up all of our vital throws on that thing, though. That was ridiculous. Wishcash is pretty bulky. I actually, I, I thought it would survive that, but I guess not. Anyway, Jamie's gonna get a full hill off of that. Like I said, the rest of its team is gonna be pretty easy compared to that Kingdra. Oh god, I hate that typing whenever I'm going against it. You can say hello to my little Oscar. Oscar is going to have a field day with this guy. Probably one shot. This is uh, the evolution of Spiel, Celio. We will be seeing several of Celios in the near future. However, it is weak to fighting type attacks. Like I said, not the best defensive typing. Oh, the crit! Ah, oh, now we're just gonna sweep the rest of this guy's team now that we've beaten Kingdra. Jeez, what do you know? And Crawdont. Crawdont, we haven't seen it before. It's the evolution of Corphish, which we also haven't seen before. Crawdont is a water and dark type Pokemon, so it should also be going down to Oscar pretty easily. Crawdont's one of the Pokemon that got gypped in terms of typing because it has water type attacks. It has dark type attacks. Both of these attacks are special. As you can see, it's not going to do a lot of damage. Crawdont has a huge physical, physical attack stat. I think it's like 110 or 130. It just doesn't have the typing to support it. Until Diamond and Pearl, where it gets the right typing attacks, where Crab Hammer would do quite a bit of damage. And so would all of its dark type attacks. However, even then, Krana is pretty slow. As you can see, even Oscar is outspeeding him, and our entire team is pretty slow. So yeah, that's a thing. So there goes Krana. I do believe that's his last Pokemon. Sure enough, so we have defeated Juan. Aha, excellent, very well, you are the winner. From you, I sense a brilliant shine of skill that will overcome all. However, compared with me or even Wallace, you are lacking in elegance. Okay. Perhaps I should make you a loan of my outfit. No, thank you. Ha ha ha, I merely jest. Rather than my clothes, I shall reward you with this, the rain badge. And with, you don't even give half the money that your gym trainers gave, jeez. So, we finally got the final badge of the game. The rain badge, from Juan. Having the rain badge shall assure you the full obedience of all your Pokemon from, from your every command. The rain badge also allows the use of an HM move waterfall to scale walls of cascading water, also known as waterfalls. And so that you will never forget this battle we shared, take this. TM03, Water Pulse, it's... I believe Water Pulse has 70 power. The technical machine I handed you contains Water Pulse. In use, it will occasionally confuse the target with ultrasonic waves. It's not really that useful to us, really. I mean, we have many more powerful Water-type moves. We actually have quite the plethora of Water-type moves on all of our Pokémon. So with that, we have beaten the last gym. Join us next time when we make our way to the Pokémon League! Oh boy, it's been a while, and it's finally time. So I will see you all then, and goodbye.